So, here we are again, the final episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi might have evaded Darth Vader for a time, but the Empire is hot on his trail. Will we get our highly anticipated rematch between Obi-Wan and Darth Vader? The return of the Jedi of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Only one way to find out, people, because we're watching. Final episode of Obi Wan Kenobi. Lock down the facility. I'm so excited. The last episode was so good. This was intriguing. I have to admit, I didn't care for Riva. I still really don't care for Riva, but I'm glad we got her backstory because now you're more sympathetic towards her. I hated that. I loved it, but I hated it. So sad. Revenge does wonders for the will to live, don't you think? Found you. If he's learned of the children, I'll head to Tatooine. If he's heard of the children, I'll burn. I had to Tatooine to Luke. Oh, are we gonna see Luke a little bit now? I'm excited for that. Even though I'm worried for him. Ah, uh, the last episode just left me so excited. Definitely the best out of the bunch. I'm just hoping this. This will surpass it. And we end on a really good note here. Obi-Wan Oh, yes. Oh, we're back on Tatooine. The outer rim, people. Hey, that's rude. Oh, it's you. I remember you. Something you want to say? I have something to say. Wait your turn. You can have what's left when I'm done. He's the guy at the meat factory who was being an ass to the workers there, docking their pay. She's already arrived. I'm looking for a farmer. Name's Owen. What is she gonna do? Is she mad? I think she might be mad. I understand now. I I've just watched a previous episode and then now it hits me. She's probably mad at Obi-Wan Kenobi because Obi sort of used her to get all of these people out because he knew she would not be a match and she was tricked into believing like, oh, I actually have a chance here to get Vader because Obi-Wan knows him. Obi-Wan knows Anakin better than anybody alive right now. So she trusted Obi-Wan and she, he used her to get everyone out and now she's mad. And maybe now she's going to act out revenge against Obi-Wan instead of Anakin. I don't know. Increase firepower. At once, Lord Vader. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. This made me excited again. That's a big ass ship. I'm sure it's nothing, right, Obi? Move all power to the rear shields. We'll head for Tessin. Get you out from there. We're not gonna make it to Tessin, are we? Motivator shot. Power couplings are bad. Oh, We're so... working on it, but those shields won't last forever. But he's trying to keep hope alive, and even if these are the final moments that they have, they will be spent in relative hope and peace instead of dread and panic. I mean, that's very brave of him. I, I like these characters. It's, it's brave of him. It's, it's kind. It's a kindness, even though it's very sad. How much time do you need? What do we have? Can you do something about it, Obi? Can you give us a little time? Can you give them a little time? I feel sad. It's just really giving weight to a situation. I'm scared. She keeps their minds off of her. Maybe I should borrow her too. Oh. Owen. What do you need, kid? We need a new belt for this computer. Certain somebody broke the last one. <laughs> Your uncle's a patient man. I am not that patient. It's sort of sad because we know what happens to Owen and his wife. And he didn't deserve it. They appeared with a random baby. 
because Anakin was sort of the stepbrother of Owen and they really didn't have much contact, but he was still willing to take Luke in, knowing what Anakin was and knowing that the Jedi would be hunted and that he could possibly be Jedi sensitive or force sensitive, and he still did it. And I think Owen is a very honorable and good man for it. It's just, and he treats him like a son. It's just sad that good people end up the way they do in the very end because he definitely didn't deserve it. Owen? Oh. There's something you need to know. Okay, okay. Looking no, out for no, each wait. other. You can't just leave me here. I'm the one that Vader wants. If I go, he will follow. I'm not letting you. Leia, please. Wait. What happened to all of us staying together? Girl, let them go. <laughs> let them go, honestly. If I if I were <laughs> among all of these people, I, I know. <laughs> but if I were among all of these people, I'd be like, okay, Obi-Wan, you, you go now, okay? <laughs> I'm kidding. It's one person for everybody else. The math is mathing, right? And he's seeing it too because he let so many people already be sacrificed for his plight and Leia's. And now he's turning things around and doing the same for them. Roken needs more time to fix the ship. This will give him that time. You've spent 10 years protecting the Jedi. This is my chance to return that favor. But we're so go. close. Roken, you know this plan makes sense. You are all the future. You are the future. You're what needs to survive. Not me. No. And in the end, he doesn't. Oh, don't cry, Jesus. You must promise me that you get her home, Haja. You have my word. Although I know the word of a liar and a fake Jedi may not mean much to you. Oh. It's good enough for me. Oh. Oh, that's a nice circle. Because he was bothered by it and now he's honorable and he thinks he's honorable and it's it's great. It's nice to have that circle moment. What is it? I'm on his side. These cute farmers they don't, don't deserve this. They don't deserve this dress. How did you know it was here? I don't know. All I know is she's coming. Ben is gone. Whose fault is that? Oof. Yeah. Leave, bro. We need to take Luke and hide somewhere. Where? In the desert? I'm not leaving my home. At least here we have a chance. Are they gonna fortify their home and make a stand? Because that would be so badass to see these two normal people who don't have the force, that are not Jedi, are just normal, regular people, farmers, and making a stand. I want to see it. Come on. I'm not putting anyone else in danger, Owen. She's a baddie. We're enough. Oh, you and me. Marry me, Jesus. Are they gonna make a stand? Girl, what are you doing? Girl! Oh, I'm so happy about. She'll that. come when the suns go down. Best we got position now. They're protecting what is theirs. They're making a stand. I love that. There's potential to be great in so many, and here you see it. It's just so great. Like small people can make a difference if they really set their minds to it. Oh, it's just sad they die in the way that they do in the end, but it's so good to see them now. My doctor, you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome, I love him. You said you'd take me home. I wish that I could, Leia. Please tell your father I tried. I have something for you. Roken found it before we got out. What's that? She would have wanted you to have it. Oh, for everyone we got out. It's empty. Well, I wasn't going to give you a blaster later. You're oh. ten years old. But she has the shot later. But you won't always be. I love them. I mean, for a kid actor, she's done great. I promise. Oh, I'm just, I'm, I'm emotional mess, Jesus. Stop making me cry. They really have been on a journey. Obi-Wan rediscovering himself. Leia was really the catalyst for him to pick up arms again and to go after her and find her and, and to set off his final hero's journey. She's been important to him and she has learned to trust him and love him. It's just like, oh, their bond is, is, is really special too. And then later with him and Luke, it's just Obi-Wan is so special. He's so special.
face him, Master. Qui Gon. Whether he dies or I do. Qui Gon. This ends today. Please let it be Qui Gon. I die. Oh, I love Qui Gon so much. I really want to have a talk with Qui Gon. I miss him. He was like in one freaking movie, and I absolutely fell in love with Liam Neeson's character, Qui Gon. It's just it. <sighs> He was one of my favorite Jedi. I felt like he was a- he is what a Jedi should be. I know he might have had a couple of flaws, but I felt like he was the example of what a Jedi should be, in my opinion. It, he was just the perfect balance of two, of the Jedi Order, but also to have your own mind and intertwine. He was such a great character. He was in one movie, and he made such an impact. What if Qui-Gon never told Obi-Wan to train the boy. What if they never picked up Anakin in the first place? What if they didn't introduce him to the Jedi Order at all? What if he remained a slave with his mother? What would have happened to the Jedi Council? What would have happened to the Empire? Like, would the Republic? Is there a theory about that? Because I would love to read it. What would have happened? Please tell me in the comments if there is. What would have happened if Anakin was never introduced to the Jedi ways, to the Jedi Council, never under tutelage of Qui-Gon or Obi-Wan Kenobi? Tell me, because I would love to know. It's about you and him. It's always been. Keep them safe. Keep yourself safe too. There are not many leaders left. You're one of them. People follow you. Don't stop. Just get started. Good boy. Good man. We're tracking an escape craft. There's one life form aboard. That's mm. him. My lord, we must continue our pursuit of the insurgents. No, Obi, what is we all that matters? We prioritize one lone Jedi. It's not just one lone Jedi. That's freaking Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Hello there. That's fucking Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> He is not just any Jedi. Say it. That's fucking Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Follow Kenobi. Yes! Once more Vader. It does make sense now why Reva was so quickly promoted by the placing of the tracker. Because he wanted to trick Reva. He wanted her in that position. Because he already knew. Oh, they're gonna make a stand. They're gonna make a stand. I'm excited. I love when regular people do badass things. It's just so good to see because you can see the hero. That's cool. But you already know the hero is going to be badass. But regular, normal people doing great things, I feel like that's the most interesting to watch. I need you to listen to me. The Tuscans are on the hunt again. They're raiding farms along the waste. So stay in here. If anything goes wrong, you, you know what to do. You run. I'm not afraid. I know. I'm not afraid. You will be. That just reminded me of this. Uh, Everything's gonna be fine. I'm not afraid. Oh, Easter egg, I see you. Prepare my ship. I will face him alone. Another face off. You think Kenobi will be more willing to fight? I think he was. It's him or me, monster. Lola, I knew she because he told her, Oh, maybe I should borrow her too. She keeps their mind off things. Oh man, Leia. Oh, you got this, Obi Wan. That's Reva. She's hurt though, she's wounded. She's here. I'm wondering what's gonna happen here. It's sad because they probably died this exact way, trying to make a stand, but they're older and it was the entire squad of stormtroopers or the Empire at least. It's just sad. Hello, Daddy. It's gonna be good. I feel it. The last fight with Reva was already cool, so this gotta be it. Come on. Have you come to destroy me, Obi Wan? I will do what I must. You can't throw that at me. 
I shall do what I must, Obi-Wan. I will do what I must. I will do what I must. Oh, flashbacks. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe it's a little bit of fan service, but I'm weak for that shit, okay? Shut up. Then you will die. Shut up, shut up. I love these two idiots. Oh, the music, it's beautiful. Oh, man. Their story is just so intriguing. I can't help myself. Way to give yourself away, lady. <laughs> Let's go, Owen! Go, go, go! Holy crap! They're badasses, come on. I like that they get a moment to shine, too. They deserve it. Come on. This one is definitely more active than the previous. Yo! Your strength has returned, but the weakness oh. still remains. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, that was a nasty move, Anakin. You always do that shit. <laughs> Always lose. Well, you were the one who lost last time. I'm just saying. <laughs> who was burnt to crisps again? Wasn't Obi Wan. <laughs> Sorry, that was a low blow. <laughs> you underestimate my power. Oh fuck. Well, that's just. That's Did you truly think that you could defeat me? You have failed, master. Like he's failed you before? Oh. Hey, this is your time to shine, Obi. Get out of there. Oh, that's just mean. You really love the boy. Like he's your own. He is my own. <laughs> Owen is so brave and good and Bach. What do you want? Yeah, I knew it. That's her freaking motive. It's not fair because you're killing. You're doing exact. God damn it. Why are you taking it out on the young Lins? Well, you as a young Lin were hurt so much and now you see justice by killing another boy instead of the men that actually hurt you? That's not fair. I mean, I feel sympathy for her backstory, but it doesn't justify what she is doing right now. It's not justice, Riva. It's plainly being selfish. No! She's coming! Shit! Oh! Oh! Luke! Oh, that's all? Come on! Baru has got to kick some ass! I'm here for Baru! Yo, if you even attempt to get Luke, I will kill you. Luke is precious baby angel boy. Is he gonna talk to Qui-Gon in this moment? You cannot run. Qui-Gon? Oh, the children. Shut up, you can't throw that at me. Oh, 
god, the kids gave him strength, people. It's a little cheesy, but I love it. I expected Qui-Gon to be like... So, you sure got yourself in a messy situation, didn't you, my cute little apprentice? Look at you. <laughs> His movements are just so hot. It's just so much power underneath his movements. It's just so good. Nice. Didn't expect that. Now, did you end me? <laughs> Holy shit, Kenobi. <gasps> oh. Wow, he really has space, Jesus, isn't he? <laughs> Jesus Christ, literally. Oh, come on! I want Baru to kick Riva's ass. If anyone could, it's Baru. I feel it. <laughs> Aw, that was a cute little dancing move. Look, we're finally holding hands! Oh, shit. Shit. Okay, this one is much better. Oh, good one! Don't, don't kill him though. He can't kill him. He, he can't kill him. No. I, I couldn't kill him. I can't stand his whimpering. It, it makes me sad. Is he gonna see how he ended up? I think Obi could ever kill Anakin. No, I don't want to see him like that. Anakin. I hate this. Anakin is gone. He's not. I am what remains. <sighs> He's crying too, we're all crying. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Anakin. Shut up. For all of it. <sighs> I am not your failure, Obi-Wan. You didn't kill Anakin Skywalker. I did. Same way, I will destroy you. And my friend is truly dead. He's not. He's still in there. He's still in there. You didn't kill him, Anakin. You didn't kill yourself. You Darth Vader did not kill Anakin. Goodbye. Still in there. Darth. He did call him Anakin. Goodbye, Darth. Because Anakin, to him, Anakin is dead. Now, now that he has confirmed it, that my friend is truly dead. <laughs> Why? Why did why do these stupid men always make me cry? <laughs> Obi Wan. You can hear Anakin's voice. It's so good. Daddy, I feel so sad for him. Obi Wan. Goodbye, Darth. It's still Anakin in there. It's still Anakin. Cause why else would he have such? An emotional reaction to Obi-Wan walking away if it's not Anakin still in there, if it's only Darth Vader. If Anakin truly is dead, then why does he hold so much pain still inside of him for Obi-Wan? Why is he still so frustrated? Because he's still in there. It's still him, you can't convince me otherwise, and in the end he comes back in Return of the Jedi, because he is the Return of the Jedi. God, I'm sad.
sad all over again. Luke. Is he close? Oh man, so Obi-Wan is going to rescue Luke. I, I had to admit I would prefer Owen or Baru to do it because it would have been a lot more special to me. But then again, now he can form maybe a connection with Luke too because he's been trying to look out for the boy. Riva, really? I expected more from you after the reveal, not gonna lie. Nah, really? You're gonna be what you hated all of this time? You're gonna become what you have hated all along? Really? I told you, the roles are reversed. See what you have become. Justice, you called it. <laughs> Well, Obi, you better hurry up. I don't know where you came from, but apparently it's enough time to get there and save Luke. <laughs> Jesus. Where is he? He's gone. I don't think Riva killed him. Ben! I don't think he's dead. She's carrying him back. Obviously he's not dead. How else can all of the other movies happen? But still. I'm like, oh, I don't think he's dead. <laughs> what are you doing, Reva? She's just really in need of therapy. Mm. Well, well, he's alive, like I mentioned. Man, if I were Baru or Owen, I'd try and choke Reva. Sorry. Even if she did bring him back. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Or matter, like fuck off. I mean, I would be. Screw your tragic backstory. You tried to kill our son, my own. You call that justice? I couldn't do it. It's good you couldn't. I failed him. Shit. He killed them all, and I couldn't do it. She really needs therapy because it was not your. You fault. haven't failed them by showing mercy. <laughs> you have given them peace. Have I become him? No. No. You've chosen not to. It's all what we are. Our choices. Who you become now. That is up to you. She's walking away from it. From it all, you think? Whatever happened to her? Now you are free. We both are. We both are. Letting go of the past. Letting go of Anakin. Bye, Darth. We both are. Well, are we at Mordor all of a sudden? In every system within range, we will destroy everything in our path until he is found. Oh, would you look you at that? Agitated, my friend. Velveteen. He will not evade me again. He did it a couple of times now, Annie. I wonder if your thoughts are clear on this. Perhaps your feelings for your old master have left you weakened. Because it's still Anakin. If your past cannot be overcome, Kenobi means nothing. He means everything. I serve only you, my master. Interesting. Maybe that is why they've only met in A New Hope so far, because he gave up the hunt, both letting go of the past as much as they can. sad. I just want them to be friends again. <laughs> I know it's never meant to happen, but it's just so sad that they never had a proper... Well, once they're back inside of the Force, then they seem to be friends again. She's home. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna work. <laughs> that's not how it works. <laughs> oh, is she gonna try and shoot? Very Leia coded, yes. It's her outfit. 
Oh my goodness. Is that a holster? Sure is, madam. I love it. Oh, <laughs> me too. I like their relationship too, because she was very strict at Leia because of politics and everything. But she's giving her the freedom to be herself. I like that. <laughs> Instead of Obi. I was like, oh, she's gonna go for Obi. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Oh, I love her. I fear for her future. Don't. The Empire grows stronger. And bolder. So does she. Well, if you ever need my help again, you know where to find me. So what do you do now? I don't know. What do you think I should do? I think you should sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. When I said before that I didn't know your parents, Ooh. Miss Leia Organa, you are wise, discerning, kind-hearted. These are qualities that came from your mother. But you're also passionate and fearless, Annie. forthright, Annie. and these are gifts from your father. I agree. Both were exceptional people. I agree, I agree, Who bore I agree. an exceptional daughter. And I wish I could tell you more. Okay, you don't have to. Oh, that's sweet. Will I ever see you again? Maybe, someday, if you ever need help from a tired old man. <laughs> Goodbye, Obi-Wan. Goodbye. Obi-Wan. Goodbye, Princess. May the Force be with you. Oh, he said it again. I bet it's been so long since he said it. It's like... Words of hope. Still alive. May the Force be with you. I'm sad it's ending. I've had my rodeo with this series, but I don't want it to end. I don't want to say goodbye to Obi. I think that's mostly it. Goodbye, Leia. See you later. <gasps> He's got his rope on. Oh, I remember because Owen brought this back. It was a gift for Lou. What a journey Obi-Wan has made. Saying goodbye to the secluded life, but in the end, he's old Ben. Maybe he's just done hiding. You know, you were right. It's old Stan. He just needs to be a boy. The future will take care of itself. Oh, it will. The only protection he needs now, Owen, is you. Interesting. Take good care of him. Sorry, little pause. While the Jedi were still in power, while they were still Jedi, people who were sensitive to the Force, who were Force-sensitive, were actually taken away from their families. Like Obi-Wan was, it was the only family in the end that was left, also for Reva. Now he's telling Owen, like, you are the only protection, you and Baru, that Luke needs. The future will set it out itself. Well, in the beginning, he was like, if he is showing, he must be trained. Interesting how he turned around on that. And he's, in the end, he's right, because the future does sort itself out. But Yoda also mentioned he is too old to be trained, because Yoda is maybe still set in the old Jedi ways. It's interesting to ponder about. Even though Owen and Baru did put up a big fight against Reva, it was simply wasn't enough. The only protection they need, that Luke needs, is you. He's right, but in the end, he's still on Tatooine looking out for the boy. Interesting. It, sorry, I'm just pondering. You're not gonna talk to Luke? I oh, will. You will try. Ben? You want to meet him? Yes, we want to meet him. Thank you, Owen. Such a Owen is such a good man. Oh, he's happy about it. Don't make me cry. Oh, with the gifts. He 
really wants to meet him. Little Luke, little Anakin. Hello there. Stop it! Stop it! Oh, you can't do that. Hello there. Such a stupid man. Stupid, stupid man. I love this man. Are we finally gonna talk to Qui-Gon? Wait a minute. <gasps> Are we? He's here. Master Qui-Gon. Shh. Well, took you long enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. For Beginning sure. to think you'd never come. I was always here, Obi-Wan. We just were not ready to see. He wasn't. Come on. We've got a ways to go. Obi-Wan is looking so good right now. Look at him. He's clean. He sh he's looking good. He's looking refreshed. He's been sleeping a lot. Oh my god, and they're gonna talk. We're not gonna see the talk, are we? This was just a little cameo. It was good though. Liam Neeson came back. Oh my god. Yeah, fuck me. <laughs> well, I, I, it's almost the same as I felt after the last prequel movie, the Revenge of the Sith movie. I was so because everything that has happened and now I, I kind of feel the same but a little more hopeful because we know what happens in the future. It's just been so great to see Obi-Wan go from such a dark place to return back into the light. How does it feel when you turn on the light and then you see him and he is refreshed and looking like a little bit like his old self again but then again he's also more like the person he is always meant to become like in a new home it's good to have him back i've had my ups and downs with this series there were a couple of things that i just felt like wow what are you guys doing here it's not sensical it really should have cooked a little bit more in the oven for some episodes but then these two later episodes the lost episodes were just so great pulling at your heartstrings taking care of these characters and yeah maybe it does take away from a new hope where obi-wan and darth vader meet for the very first time again after so long and now you actually know that they sort of met again in between. Does it take away from it? I don't know. But I did find it interesting that Obi-Wan did let go of his past, saying goodbye Darth instead of Anakin. And then in the end, you see the table turned and you see Darth Vader sitting on his throne, throne talking to Palpatine. And he has to let go of his past too. If you cannot let go of Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan means nothing. I only serve you, which sort of explains why Darth Vader stopped the hunt for Obi-Wan. Because they both had to let go of the past, because they're still, they were still hurting so much. And it's hard, it's hard to move on from tragic life events. And you can spend a lot, a long, long time reflecting everything that has happened to you. And it's very good, but in the end, what else can you do but move on? It's like we were following them through a freaking breakup or something and they're finally like, you know, I'm over him. <laughs> I'm kidding, but it's kind of like that. It feels that way. I am glad I watched this series. I, I really, really did. I liked it. I actually loved the two later episodes just because of the connection that they shared. I keep saying that, I know, it's getting repetitive, but it's just what I love most about the story. It's these characters interacting, their trauma, their love, their bond, their hatred, all of these things, and then in the end, Anakin returns. It's Luke. That's just all I have to remember. He returns because of Luke, because Luke is the new hope. I'm gonna leave the episode here. It was, for the most part, it really was a treat to watch for me because I'm just really into diving into all of the personal connections, the inner mind workings that they have. It's just super interesting to me. Human connection is just tragic, beautiful, 
sad all at the same time. It's bittersweet. It's lovely. It's, it's amazing. It's heartbreaking. Anyway, we can do a couple of things now. I'm probably gonna get a poll because we finished Obi-Wan Kenobi, which sort of sad it ended. But now we've got a couple of options to go from here. We got a series called Andor and it's a prequel series to the movie Rogue One and a lot of people want me to watch Rogue One. I'm just wondering if I should watch Andor or if you guys are just like, no, just go to Rogue One. And we also still have the sequels to react to. There's just so much Star Wars content. There's other site series that I can watch. I also am watching The Clone Wars on Patreon if you're interested. Just tell me what I should do. I'm gonna put up a poll really soon after I upload it this video. I really hope you enjoyed me reacting to the Kenobi series. Tell me what you thought about the entire series. Tell me how you felt about it. I would really love to know. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you for some reason have not already, and I guess I will see you in the very next Star Wars episode. See ya!